Well guys, it's now time for uh, game six of my run of Jeopardy for the SNES. Jeopardy. I currently have a five game winning total of $94,004. I'm looking at uh, add on to my $94,004 in this game. This is my opponent's. Here are the categories. My six categories are history, starts with B, early America, foreign cuisine, rock and roll, and fine china. These categories I'll try, and I'm going to do foreign cuisine for a hundred. The answer is no matter how you slice it, it's brought in Germany. Bread. Yep. Foreign cuisine for 200. Well, there's the daily double right away. I have 100, I can risk up to 5. That's what I'm doing. From the Latin meaning to serve is the soup that starts a meal. Minstrone. Up to six. Uh, four cuisine for three hundred. The answer is French cookie made of sugar, egg white, and almonds. Its name is from Italian for macaroni. It's macaroon. Uh huh. Four cuisine for four hundred. The answer is the distinctive starchy ingredient in Chinese dishes with Maine in the name. Noodles. Yes. Foreign cuisine 500. The answer is. Call the fruit of India is the main ingredient in a popular chutney. Mango. It's the mango, all right. I'll take history for a hundred. The answer is. In 1502, he made his fourth and final voyage to the New World. Christopher Columbus. And since I've been having some trouble with trying to keep this gameplay from un from not being freezing, just putting in last names. Yep, 1900. Let's go with history for 200. The answer is. In 1997, ownership of this British colony reverts to China. It's Hong Kong. Of course, 1997 was the year when I first started watching Supercross. Now I've been watching it for 13 years. It's history 300. The answer is. After 35 ballots, the House broke an electoral tie to make him president in 1801, Tom Jefferson. That's right. History for four. The answer is. She did a hatchet job on bars and saloons in 1900. Uh, Carrie Nation? Yes. 500 history. The answer is. This settlement was established by Antoine Cadillac on July 24, 1701. Detroit. Yes. Starts with B for 100. The answer is. Goodyear's gas bag. It's a blimp. Uh-huh. B for 200. The answer is... Nickname of Gil Gerard's futuristic Captain William Rogers. Buck? It's either Buck or Bly. It's Buck. 300 for B. The answer is... In the proverb, a new one sweeps clean. 
Brown. Uh huh. Four hundred hits starts with B. The answer is quality of Scott's brogue, which makes the R r r r roll. Well, this one I don't know. But burr. Uh huh. So Rob says the four hundred is finally on the board. Starts with B five hundred. The answer is. Australian Bay, named for the many plants growing on its shore. Botany Bay. Yes. Let's try rock and roll. Tr rock and roll for a hundred. The answer is August fifth, nineteen fifty-seven, was the first national broadcast of this TV team show. American Bandstand? Yep. Uh, rock and roll for two. The answer is... Hey Jude was the Beatles' initial record for this, their own label. Yep. Rock and roll 300. The answer is. This former bantamweight could have written Papa's Got a Brand New Punching Bag. And Jenny's already making a dummy of herself because she doesn't know it. Rob rings in, and he doesn't know either, so he drops to $100. Uh, don't worry about me, man. Uh, James Brown. Let's do Early America for 100 The answer is... He felt his greatest work was his revision of the Bible of not his speller or dictionary. Noah Webster. That's right. Early America for 200. The answer is... Widow of Daniel Custis, she burned all but two letters from her famous second husband. Martha Washington. Oh. Well, that I did not know. So Jenny's at minus 100. Rock and roll for 400. The answer is... East and West follow this word in the name of, names of Bill Graham's 60 Rock Calls. Cable network geared towards women. Yeah. Fillmore. Okay, so Jenny's at 300 out of the hole. Now it's fine China for 100. The answer is... Though Delphware was first produced in this country, it was also made in England. United States? Or is it the Philippines? Uh, maybe it's Holland? Yeah, lucky thing I changed. We'll go ahead and stop here for part one, and we'll look at these last eight clues when we come back, even though we have some time remaining. Just want to play safe.